Hello again. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to model a mirror and not only to model but also how to texture a model with a simple frame. So uh, the frame will be the fun part. The uh, glass of the mirror is just uh, very easy and very very easy. So the frame, uh, the texturing of the frame uh, will be the fun part we're gonna get a little bit into the node editor and yeah you're gonna see how how it is okay now I have in here my default blender scene and I'm gonna delete this default cube and add a plane okay now rotate this plane 90 degrees uh, on the x-axis and tab into edit mode okay we're gonna start with the um, frame first so just extrude this and scale it up a little bit something like that will be fine uh, also delete this face in here and also this face in here and now I can just select all the vertices and from top view extrude it a little bit something like this okay now again select all and scale it on the z axis down till it looks more of a, a frame okay now select these vertices in here make sure you select the back ones as well and scale on the x just a little bit so this uh, length in here this thickness or I call it uh, should be equal with this one on the top okay that's fine uh, and now select these vertices right here on the front one and duplicate them by shift D clicking and make a face between these vertices okay now I'm gonna press P to separate and this will be the uh, mirror right in here perhaps you could just take it down a little bit uh, no not down back just a little bit okay and to make it look nicer I'm gonna add a subdivision surface to the frame maybe raise it to 2 okay and actually a quicker way to do this is just add two loop cuts and scale them okay I'm gonna add some loop cuts in here to uh, to make it look better okay in order to loop cuts in here okay two loop cuts in here one in here and one in here and this is just yeah these loop cuts are uh, just to round up the corners and the edges and perhaps you could do that on the interior side as well and although you can't actually see it you could put one for the back okay so yeah this is pretty much the frame also turn on smooth shading and we're done modeling now we're gonna start uh, texturing. Make sure you switch to Cycles Render if you already haven't, because we're gonna use the Cycles Render for this one. And uh, before I will start, let me just uh, add some quick lightning, quick lightning in here. Okay so you can actually see what we're doing okay one second
Okay, that's the lighting. Okay, let's start modeling. This is in the way. Okay. Uh, sorry. Let's start texturing. I'm uh, I'm gonna start with the glass or how you call it. Let's just give it them a name. I'll name this mirror and this one frame. Okay, now I'm gonna start with the mirror. And this will be just a simple glossy shader. As I was saying, the mirror is very easy. That's it. Make sure the roughness is zero and that's that will reflect everything. Okay, I'm gonna uh, split this viewport now. Press T to close this. We don't need that at the moment. And choose the node editor right in here. We're gonna use the node editor for the frame. Okay, I'm also gonna switch to the render viewport shading so you can see what we're doing. Uh, the mirror, it's gray because it reflects the uh, background and it doesn't have what to reflect that so that's why you can't see anything on it. Okay, I'm gonna add the uh, material for the frame. Uh, we're doing the frame now and for this I'm gonna add a converter I uh, know first I'm gonna add the noise uh, texture so just go to texture noise texture sorry uh, noise texture okay so this is how we're gonna do the frame because if you just make it black it doesn't look nice a frame it's like uh, wooden or something like that and it's it doesn't look good if it's just pure black uh, okay some options that I found very uh, nice looking uh, where scale about 30 uh, you could raise the detail up if you want and I use a di distortion of around 40 uh, yeah something like that and uh, we're gonna wait a little bit till it cl clears out and you can see how this looks uh, the distortion make this look uh, these lines or how you call them uh, make them quite small so if you want them to be bigger you just lower this uh, distortion value okay so as you can see that's pretty much how the texture will, will look and it, of course it's not gonna have all these colors in here and to change those colors uh, we are gonna add a converter color ramp and as you can see now it all changed to black and white these colors in here from black to white uh, now from here on there are two ways that you can do this uh, pretty much almost everything in blender can be done in multiple multiple ways so for learning i'm gonna show you the bo both the ways uh, it's not there is is no correct way to say uh, you're gonna uh, choose this way you just choose the one you like uh, both of them are correct so first uh, what you can do is add another diffuse shader uh, make this color black add the mix shader to mix those two okay and you can make this factor to around 0.95 so uh, 0.05 will be the uh, this first shader and 0.95 will be the second one which is this one the black so the uh, those that noise texture will kind of overlay or will just uh, be put over the this black texture in there as you can see 
now the frame is black but it has some uh, dirty spots <laughs> I guess in there okay so that's the first way to do to do it and I'm gonna show you the second way now and how you can do that is that uh, you don't actually need to add anything you just mess around with these values in here you take that uh, line to about the half uh, the middle of this uh, uh, yeah and select this right uh, line or how I call it and make it uh, not black but something like uh, gray to black almost black something like that maybe a little bit more okay maybe bring it to the left a little bit Okay, a little bit more and yeah pretty much this is the frame yeah, it's done something like this, this and as you can see it's not just pure black it has some uh, grayed out areas uh, that noise texture does all the job for us and yeah it looks nice another thing that you can do with this and I'm gonna show it to you is that you can turn this mirror into a painting uh, so I'm gonna select this uh, frame duplicate it bring it uh, to the front a little bit and add a, a painting into it but instead of just duplicating this and making another material for it and choose uh, color uh, choose image texture uh, we're gonna use this add-on which is a very nice add-on and it's a cool one okay so I wanted to show it to you uh, this add-on import images as planes okay now we can just shift A add a mesh images as planes and we're gonna load the image into our blender scene okay this is just a simple image from the internet okay a painting or something like that I'll rotate along X and the reason why I did that instead of just modeling a plane and adding the image to it was because uh, the dimensions of the plane must match the pixels of the image Okay, so as you can see, I need to model a frame to fit the image. Alright, I'm gonna tab into edit mode, control shift tab, switch the snap type to vertex, and I'll just scale this on the Z. And also on the X. Okay, seems I can't use the snapping does matter you can just zoom in if you want a better alignment okay also you could grab this to the right position something like that and this is kind of like a painting I don't know it's just a picture or something like that okay if I now switch to rendered viewport 
you can see the mirror okay so now you can see that this is actually a mirror and it mirrors the painting okay so this is pretty much what I wanted to show you tonight a little bit of introduction to the node editor and I'll just show you how to make a nice painting or mirror okay thank you for watching leave a comment below and see you next time